No, I can't do this. It's all too much. Gotta get down to 185. That's a lot of weight to move. <sighs> Maybe the stuff isn't so bad after all. What is going on guys? Will here, welcome to the video. Will, why are you wearing a weighted vest? Well, that is a great question. So today I decided to gain 50 pounds. A lot of you guys know I used to be on the heavier side. So today I'm gonna revisit the body and food choices I made with my present knowledge and daily routine. So it's really gonna put into perspective, you know, just how much weight can hold you back. And of course, you know, portion control. So let's get into the video. Morning cardio back then was the same as it is now, just a little bit harder to see, but now I've added a second component, which is a thousand skips every single morning. So typically it takes me, you know, right around 10 minutes or less. So I timed it yesterday, it was around nine minutes and 51 seconds. So right now I'm gonna do a thousand skips with a 50 pound vest and we'll see how much time it's gonna be. I'm gonna have to assume 17 to 20 minutes. Rest in peace knees. So that was only that was only 110. Oh my god. Okay, we are just over the halfway point. My 504 skips. Seven minutes, 33 seconds right now. Uh, really starting to slow down. Okay, so that was the time I, I finished a thousand skips yesterday at my, at my weight I am now. But with this, I'm only at 600 skips. So yeah, I'm thinking, honestly, like close to 20 minutes. So double the time, which is crazy. Oh, 1,000, holy shit. Okay, so that took me 18 minutes, 15 seconds, so almost double the time. And usually this cardio in the morning is not like it's supposed to be any sort of challenge. It's just me kind of getting up and getting my body moving, but I literally just feel like I just did like the Murph or something. It's so challenging. Even when I was sitting down and have water, getting up was a task. Starting the first rep, like I said, was a task. But you know what? I have built up an appetite, so let's go make some breakfast. Even coming up these stairs is a challenge. So. When I was 17, I was in high school, so when I woke up, it was all about just being quick. So not much has changed except now, just two people are disappointed. But for breakfast, it was always the same thing. It was cereal, eggs, with some cheese. So I really had whatever cereal was available to me, but my favorite of all time was Vector cereal. I was addicted to this stuff, so I'm gonna have this with three eggs scrambled and some cheese. So what I'm gonna do is put together my typical portion size from back in the day, and then what I'm gonna do is chip away at it to meet my 500 calorie breakfast needs now. Okay, so the eggs are going in. So eggs are eggs, it's 210 calories. There's really not much I can do about that. So now it's time to work on the cheese. So you will notice today, there's gonna be a lot of cheese going on. I was a very cheese forward individual. I chose to not drown in my stores, but rather smother them in cheese. So typically I would just, you know, go, you know what, I wouldn't even look, I wouldn't even care, man. So 45 grams, so that is a serving and a half. So that's 150 calories worth of cheese. That is so not necessary for only three eggs. So I'm probably gonna take away you know, maybe like 20 grams, make it just under 100 calories. Eggs are scrambled, cheese is melted, now it's time to work on the cereal. So the calories I have left to meet my 500 calorie breakfast needs is 215 calories. So we're gonna put the cereal together. Uh, so I didn't weigh the cereal. My unit of measurement was simply the limits of whatever the largest dishware I could find. So I usually used this bowl right here and I'd literally just fill it to the brim. So we're gonna do that right now and we're gonna weigh it out and kind of see roughly how much I was having. Yeah, so I'd say I probably had around that much. So that is 156 grams of cereal. And so just give me a second to do some math here. 
We're gonna have to pause this. So I just went a little Rain Man on my cereal and it looks like 156 grams of Vector is 621 calories, which is obnoxious. So we really gotta taper that back. So I'm gonna have 39 grams of Vector cereal, which is 155 calories, because we forgot to factor in the milk. So unfortunately, I wasn't introduced to the benefits of a well-milked nut, well, until I pledged to a frat the following year. But milk has actually a lot of calories. So cashew milk has 25 calories per cup, whereas milk, has it about like 120 calories. So we're gonna do half a cup of milk with the 39 grams of cereal with the eggs comes up to 500 calories on the dot. And yes, it's milk in a bag I'm from Canada. If this does not put portion control into perspective, I don't know what does, but look how much I have left and look how much I'm allowed to have. It's actually sad. Wow. Oh, oh drip a little of pre-milk there. Not even to mention the calories of the bowl of cereal, but also the amount of sugar in that bowl was 36 grams of sugar, which is outrageous. So I was racking up calories and grams of sugar like kills in Halo 3, you know what I mean? I just didn't care. And you know, the reason why I ate like this is because I wasn't aware of calories. I actually didn't know what they were. Like, if anything, I could have thought the higher the number, the better. Like the more like you get, the more kills you get in Call of Duty, you know, you, the more you prestige. I, I thought the same thing. So, you know, we should be teaching kids like in, in health class, this stuff, not how to put a condom on a banana, you know what I'm saying? So I forgot to mention the calories for my meal typically back in the day. Um, take a shot every time I say back in the day in this video, by the way. Uh, it came up to 1,221 calories, which is absolutely insane. That's like nearly half of my intake now. I'm on 2,500 calories on a cut right now. So that was just my breakfast. Feeling like a Sherpa on my walk right now. I can't even do my jacket and it's freaking cold. So a lot of you guys know I like to do 10,000 steps every single day. It's a must in my routine. And typically on a walk, my heart rate's around like the mid 80s to very low 90s. But right now it looks like it's, you know, 10 p.m. I'm not alone. I'm getting ready to apologize, you know, because right now it says 118 beats per minute. And I already feel gassed. Like it's 11:17 in the morning. My lower back is hurting. My shoulders are hurting. And I just feel out of breath. But Gotta get those steps in. Growing up, I always struggled with self-esteem and confidence. I would hide away from social situations. I would stop trying new things. I would avoid challenge. A lot of us struggle with insecurities because we compare our behind the scenes to people's highlight reels. You know, you don't just wake up one day and hate your body. You don't choose to be self-conscious. It's because of society, we've taught people to hate our bodies. We've been taught what a ideal male physique looks like. We've been taught what a female physique should look like. And because of that, you know, I hurt myself. I did things that have left its mark even to this day just to get, you know, respect from other people. And what I know now is that the most important relationship in the world is the one that you have with yourself. And when you're happy with yourself, you have so much more to give to the world than you do when you're running on empty. So if I could go back and just talk to younger Will for even one second, I'd just say to just be kinder to yourself. Time for my favorite subject, y'all, which was lunch. You might think it was a joke, but I treated it like class, focusing on the subject for the full entire hour, eating constantly throughout. So every single day I went to Pizzaville. Uh, you know, it was walking distance from my high school. I picked up two walk-in slices with a Pepsi, so it's good. I never drank my calories, guys, never. Thank you very much. Have a good day, guys. You too, see ya. Take care. Take care. All right, let's eat. So I got the pepperoni, I got a cheese, and then they don't have Coke, so they have Pepsi, so this just turned into a threesome that nobody's gonna brag about. So typically for lunch now, I have 600 calories, so theoretically I can have the full entire cheese and then like a nibble of the pepperoni, so when I bring this home for someone else after I have a few bites. Mm. Wow, it just tastes like high school. So I've had 560 calories, so I get to have 40 calories worth of this pizza. So I'm just gonna go right around back. So, so yeah, that was around 40 calories. So 600 calories for lunch. This is very, very sad. This is like the eating equivalent to blue balls. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna bring this home for my dad and we still have to go and work out now, which is insane because I feel like I've been working out all day. Now this is gonna be interesting. So the skipping was hard. Now I feel like this is gonna be like a hundred times harder because we're going to do a shoulders and legs workout that I would typically do at my normal weight now. So we're going to be starting off with some squats and the overhead press. So have no idea how it's going to feel and uh, going to be very careful and kind of work our way up and see what happens.
I can already tell you, after just warming up with just the bar, it's gonna be hard working on my lower back. That's for sure. Okay, so that was the first set, 10 reps. I'm gonna stay at 135, because that literally felt like it was 165. You just feel like there's a lot going on in the core and lower back area that I'm focusing so much there, I can't really focus on the pressing, so just gonna play it safe, do three sets of 10 reps at 135. All right, well that was overhead press, so I'm gonna rest right now. Even resting is not even resting. I, I just feel so weighed down and I'm like losing breath. Set one, 135 here. I have no idea what to expect. I feel like it's gonna feel like a squat going down and on the way up, it's gonna turn into like a front squat because this is gonna like hinge me forward, but we'll see, this could be some uh, circus looking shit. So don't try this at home. Oh, it's not bad. Alright guys, so that's gonna wrap up the squats. Uh, I just stayed at 205, so it's technically 255, um, and I'm wiped because again, like I said, even resting feels like I'm actually doing some sort of work. So I'm so out of breath. So just gonna wrap up with like some lateral raises, try some extensions, and call it a day. That's gonna wrap up the workout. That wrecked me. So I definitely did a lot less weight than I normally do. I definitely did a lot less volume than I normally do. That workout kicked my ass, but you know, it doesn't matter, it's okay. So if you're just starting going to the gym, if you're overweight, if you're underweight, if you're skinny, whatever have you, don't go balls to the wall right away, you know? If you do that, you're not gonna really be doing it for a very long time. So I really encourage you guys to just make slow increments in the gym. So if you go in and just do one set, do it. If you go in for 20 minutes, just do that. Slowly work your way up and it'll be perfectly fine. So, you know, don't think you to do these crazy programs right off the bat. Again, work your way up and make it a lifestyle. All right, y'all, so time for the post-school snack. So typically back in the day, take a shot, I would have a grilled cheese. So I'm gonna put it together right now how I typically make it, then I'm gonna portion it out to my 270 to 300 calorie snack range. Cause now I would typically have like rice cakes and Greek yogurt or like an anabolic ice cream, which is a lot of food for very little calories. So this is just gonna show you guys how little volume can add up to a ton of calories. So the bread I'm using is this Villaggio bread, 150 calories per slice, and for the cheese, I didn't use singles cheese, I probably could have used Greg's cookbook, I, pro I probably could have been that one person that found that grilled cheese recipe actually valuable. Uh, so it is 120 calories for 30 grams. So I kind of cut what I think I would typically do, it's kind of like the full on coverage of the bread, and we're gonna see how much this weighs right now. 66 grams, why can't it just be three grams more? Okay, anyway, so 66 grams, we're gonna put that aside, now we're gonna butter it up. So. I pretty much buttered the bread like I was watching Art Attack, like the paper mache, you know what I mean? I really wanted to like see the butter. So, gonna put quite a bit, I'm just gonna tear my scale. And we're gonna, we're gonna get, we're gonna get painting here. Just kidding, that's gross. That's gross. So the grilled cheese is gonna start cooking away and I typically have this with some fruit. Time to plate this grilled cheese, so take a look at that little bath there of oil and fat and cheese. So I'm gonna put this onto my cutting board. So I have 80 calories of berries right there. 
and I'm gonna add some ketchup because you know life is just full of dynamic duos and just grilled cheese and ketchup just happen to be one of them. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons, which is 40 calories. So that's 120 calories to my snack on top of the grilled cheese. There we go. So that's 120. The grilled cheese is 452 calories. So I can theoretically have 180 calories more for my snack. So that's like just under half. So I'm gonna cut, unfortunately, just under half of this beautiful thing. So like I'm, that's half. Let's just go like there. There we go. And uh, that is my snack that hopefully is gonna hold me over until dinner time. So usually when I get home, I make a snack and go downstairs and play Xbox until, you know, two in the morning. I don't do that anymore. So I'm gonna go and edit and uh, enjoy this. So unfortunately, the anabolic kitchen did not find me for many, many years later. So for dinner, I usually had what my mom would make for me and I was the sous chef. So, um, you know, for dinner, everything was always healthy. There was a protein, there was a carb, a veggie, and then a big green salad. So what are we making? We're going to have a uh, honey mustard chicken. And if you ask your father, we've had chicken every night for the last 34 years, but that is not true. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna have honey mustard chicken. Uh, what else? I'm gonna for, bake. Sorry to interrupt you. Look at these chicken breasts. Like these can't be natural. Like I'm looking for like a Gymshark logo. Yeah. Although I can't find one. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna have a honey mustard chicken and we're going to make some roasted potatoes with garlic. Like we're hunting for vampires there? Like, Maybe. Shit. We're trying to keep them at bay, yeah. actually. And uh, then we'll just do some boiled broccoli. Maybe I'll just do like a little bit of uh, lemon zest on top of that. And then I'll make a big, a nice big green salad. It was not the what we ate, it was the how much he ate. You gotta cross a few lines to know where they are. Isn't that right? Well, apparently you've done a lot of lines. That's, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so as you guys can see, it's all like macro friendly, like low calorie. I just went to the point that my mom's like, Will, you crossed the line. You know, like that's enough. I was trying not to say that. I was sort of trying to lead by example, but it didn't always work. So pretty much, this was my role. I called myself a sous chef and I would just sit here and watch her. And then once the food was actually made, I just did the quality control <laughs> for dinner time. So I pretty much had a portion before dinner even started, <laughs> don't, don't you think? Yeah, but you know what? You were a handy guy to have around when we had dinner parties. I have to, I have yeah. to admit that. This is just easy. This is like a weekday meal. You know, you were probably maybe. I was, into... I was playing Halo Three. No, you were in hockey. You were yeah. in hockey. Do you know how many calories you're putting into this bowl right here? That's 120, 240, right. and this is gonna be 360. Okay, well, don't, just slow it up then. I got three tablespoons of that. Two tablespoons of the gravy mustard. And then we're going to do... Oh, so a scary amount of garlic. <sighs> here, we want a couple... I'm tired just standing here. Oh, poor baby. We want two tablespoons of lemon juice. There's a lot of seeds in those lemons. When life gives you lemons, you squeeze them. So we're gonna mix that up. No Walden Farms? I never even heard of Walden Farms. Oh, it's out of my comfort zone. <laughs> We got something there. Yeah. That's, that's something. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour half of this sauce on. Then at the midway mark, we're gonna turn the chicken over and we're gonna put the rest on the other half. Making it rain calories, mother. Right. Okay, so we can salt and pepper that up. Maybe keep it in the bowl. Yeah. Right, so we okay. need to turn it over. Okay, and now we're just gonna put the rest of the sauce on top. And then we just put it back in without the lid now. 10 or minutes. another 15. Oh, 15. Yeah. The salad was the one that you didn't come back for. Well, times have changed. This is like the thing I'm most excited for besides the, with the chicken. And then we have broccoli. Mm -hmm. so steam that, it. We're just gonna steam that. Nothing fancy. Okay, well, there's nothing fancy here. What do you say? Look at this. This is like a five-star dining experience here. Well, this is pretty old, pretty basic, pretty basic well, recipes. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you guys is a plate that I would make back in the day, take a shot, and then after that, I'm gonna show you guys what I would do now. Thank God it wasn't spaghetti night, hey mom? <laughs> Definitely. And then I go for the biggest piece of meat. Like I, I still do that anyway. And let me get to the not so fun stuff. So, you know, I just, this is just a humor my mom at this yeah. point. <laughs> Let's go. 
Probably one like that. I go like that. All right, so that was probably one of what? How many trips do you think? Well, that would be, yeah, plate one. Plate one of what? And, well, as much food as there was left. Yeah, so my plate now would look like this. I'm gonna go usually half the plate with vegetables. So a nice serving of that. Oh, Jesus. And then we're gonna go for, I guess, the second largest piece because <laughs> my fat ass took the first one. All right, so that is my first plate compared to back in the day and, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go and enjoy this with my mom because you set the table over there. There we go. And I'll show you guys plate number two. 30 seconds later, I'm already done dish number one. So this is my dish number two. So I just took the smallest piece of chicken breast that I could find, a little bit more salad, a little bit more broccoli, and then just a tiny bit of potatoes. And I'm already full from the salad and the veggies, so I didn't really need that much. It's a very good tip, you know, just to hold the carbs off until the next serving. So it's time to have some dessert because I always have to end my night off with a happy ending. So I'm in my basement because I would typically serve my ice cream in my basement so my mom couldn't see me doing it. So I would always have just like a, you know, frozen yogurt. It wasn't something crazy like Ben and Jerry's. So relatively on the lower calorie side, just not like Halo Top or anything. So usually now I would have like an anabolic ice cream again, which is like 275 to 300 calories. So I'm just gonna weigh it out right now. I would always use this bowl right here and I just fill it up to the brim. And I'm just thankful that I did not find donuts. So, you know, it looks like fate chose for me. So uh, I know weighing ice cream is a little bit tricky. So 125 milliliters is one serving size. And according to this website, that e that is 79.3 grams. So kind of see what happens here. So that says 238 grams. So I'm just gonna tally it up right now and find out the calories. So the bowl is 482 calories in total. I wanna get it down to 300. So that means I gotta make this 150 grams roughly. So we're gonna start taking this out, unfortunately. If only I could eat like I used to and look the way I do now, that would be a world I'd wanna live in. And there we go. So that is 150 grams, two servings, just right around 300 calories and that's my night cap you know filming this video today brought back a lot of memories it was a really dark time for me you know it's really hard to go through something that's killing you on the inside and then you got to act like it doesn't affect you at all uh, i was bullied every day something hurtful was said to me every single day and people's words hurt uh, you can't hate yourself happy. You can't shame yourself worthy. Real change comes with self-love, self-care. You know, it's not easy to change your mindset. It's not easy to change your habits, but it's not impossible. You just have to know that you deserve to be happy. You deserve to be at peace. You deserve to live the life that you wanna live. And just so you know, you're not alone. You're in, a, in fact, you're in a very common place with millions of other people. So we gotta help people. We gotta strive to reach our goals. And the quickest way to acquire self-confidence is to do something that, that you're afraid of. And I, I challenge you guys to go out there and do it. You know, I did it, so can you. And there's nothing special about me other than the fact that now I treat myself with respect. I treat myself with honor. And I'm not the biggest guy on YouTube. I'm not the most shredded guy on YouTube, but I am so proud of myself with how far I've come to witness my growth, to see you know, how my mindset has changed and just how I accept myself, how I'm happy with who I am every single day, and you deserve that. So that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.